Hello everyone. I am back with an update on nursing school. So many of you know I've been in nursing school and uh, so many have been asking me about update on nursing school. I'm here with an update and uh, it's also like an experience, a nursing school experience that have been, you know, that really affected my life and I'm here to share my experience. I did continue on with my nursing school journey. I did all what I could do for two plus years. And at the end of um, school, at least to the college that I went to, we do have a, an exit exam, which is 180 questions. And you need to score about um, 71 percent to pass and then exit school and then move on to taking your state board exam, which is the NCLEX. The 180 exam is provided by the ATI. So in order to prepare for that exam, like the last few months of school, we do have an ATI program that we have to follow. And that's also prepping us for the state board exam. For like each week, we start with fundamental, um, farm, med search, and so on, all the way to the end. And then we take an assessment uh, at home, which give you the green lights, or may not give you the green lights, which is give you an okay that you're good. And then you can move on to take the exam at school. Moving forward, when I was taking my assessment at home, I was behind and uh, I kept on getting emails from the school telling me to hurry up you know because the ex the time for the exit exam is nearing so you have to be able to finish all the work at home in order to be able to sit down in a school and take the exam with everybody but everybody study things differently you know someone can tell you hurry up and study but if you're not studying at your own pace it's hard to just do all what you can i was focusing like on the hard and the hardest of the materials and I did all what I could do to catch up you know with everybody with where I was in my homework in order to be able to go and take the exam with everybody however I wasn't ready to take the school exam the in-class exam but I don't think they would let me not take the exam with the entire class. It's meant for everybody to take it all at once. I knew I wasn't ready, but I had to go sit down and take it with my entire class. When I went to take the exam, I felt like the exam was easy. I kept on waiting for the harder questions. I know I said the exam was easy, but the exam was easy and the entire time I kept on thinking to myself, oh my gosh, this is so easy, but I never went over this material. Oh my goodness, this is so easy, but I never went over this material. So I did the best that I could do. And then toward the end of my exam, I ran out of time. I rushed, I rushed and answered all the questions. And the exam was over. At the end of it, I felt, I felt good. I felt confident. I was smiling. You know, I was just waiting for the result to be out. For sure, I thought I passed because although I knew I didn't, Go over some of the material I still felt like the exam was not so hard an hour later <laughs> the results are out and <sighs> it was really hard for me to take it I did score a 71 71.3 and we needed a 72 percent and it actually kind of hurt me because it was so close I was like really close less than 1% close to passing this exam yet I didn't make it and I felt like I could have passed the exam and I didn't make it and I actually felt like maybe if I had to score like lower let's say I made like a 50% or 60% I would know that okay I just did not know the material but to be so so close and that pass it just kind of put me like you know in the middle of like two spaces where 
I was kind of wondering what could I have done because I am like I didn't comp I failed but I didn't fail like really horribly and yet I didn't pass so I was between these two spaces and I didn't know how to feel I didn't know how to think I was really really devastated and one thing I had to do after going to nursing school for like two years I should know what to do right I should know what to do with myself if I'm gonna be a future nurse I need to start with myself so one thing I decided to do is to take the time and grieve so I took that week and I I let it all out I grieved and grieved and grieved I cried you know I was sad I didn't eat I did all of that just to cleanse myself to let all my negative thought and emotion to let it all out because one thing I learned is holding back tears everybody's experience is different but holding tears in my entire life of living has never helped me letting the tear fall off give me you know once the tear fall off I get a little lighter and I start to feel better so after taking the time to completely grieve and being fortunate to have some of my classmates really like give me some support and you know offer to help me as much as they could it kind of gave me the courage and the strength where I was able to take the time and go back in my books and continue to studying again because once you fail that exit exam they give you a chance uh, to take another one for a second time to tell the truth because I was so devastated and I felt like with the first exam I gave it my all and still didn't pass on this second attempt I did go back and review my weak areas you know try to prepare for the second test in the back of my mind I knew I wasn't giving it all as I did for the first exam so I did all what I could and the day of the exam came and the exam when I started taking with the first exam when I kept on taking the exam I kept waiting for the harder question and the harder question never came but for this second exam after about 25 questions I was thinking to myself where are the easy questions and then 50 questions and I'm like where are the easy questions and then it gets to 100 and I was like I have not seen one easy question all the questions were like ah, the questions were so hard and I started to regret not actually giving it a hundred percent for the second time around and I started to think to myself what have I done you know am I gonna fail this exam again you know and then I managed to go all the way to the end although the exam wasn't like easy I did notice that things that I the materials that I study the hard materials that I study for the first exam were actually on this second exam and I didn't go back over the stuff because I studied the hard stuff and none of it came out and fortunate for me it came back in the second exam and it was hard material so you still had to think lucky for me my memory I was able to go back you know and remember all the hard stuff and answer the question to the best that I could and I almost ran out of time again but once the exam ended I walked out of the exam having a migraine and like vomiting you know I had to go to the bathroom and vomit because the exam was so hard and I was feeling so horrible and one thing during the exam I know this is kind of nasty but this is how hard I felt the exam was during the the second exam I had to like stop because I was <laughs> I had like an episode of diarrhea because I was just 
so nervous and then I went home and I was waiting for the result to be out the result was taking forever to come out after the first exam I was confident I was happy I was waiting for the result but after this exam I felt really horrible I was questioning myself I didn't know like I was lost all over again I was I had like all these fears in me and I kept on refreshing you know uh, my computer because the results were gonna be posted online and I kept on refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and finally it came out that I have passed and I just I couldn't believe I passed this exam because this exam was like 10 times harder than the first exam and that's the exam that I passed and when I look back I think that I Pass the exam only because the materials that ended up on the exam were the material that I had studied and prepared for for the first exam and it was never in the uh, in the first exam and like lucky for me it ended up in the second exam but the exam was just it was just so hard and I think the school they made the exam like that because we f they felt like we we're getting a second chance and we had more time to study so therefore the material had to be harder I'm thinking that my conspiracy is I'm thinking that they probably made the exam extra hard because they're assuming we got extra time and then before going to the exam there's a lady at my school she offered like test taking strategy skills I did work with her you know I listened to her test taking strategy like she can help you you know break down um, a test question eliminate and find all the clues to help you answer a question and there was another lady at my school who gave me like assignments to do like some other reading assignment based on my weaknesses from the first exam and then I continued to study the ATI material doing all of that and plus remembering what I have learned throughout my entire time in nursing school how to help me pass this first exam so this is just to let anybody know out there that it is doable because when I felt the first time I felt like my whole nursing career was over I kept on thinking to myself oh my gosh all this time and energy and money and sacrifices I made for nursing school and here I am failing nursing school and no hopes and no dream I mean what will my plan be like I don't have a plan B nursing is just something I wanted to do for like so long I spent like years and years and years and years working hard to get into nursing school and now it all came down crashing what do I fall back on the key to all of this is to never quit because if you keep trying eventually you will pass you know if you keep trying eventually you will pass that exam as long as you keep trying so even if I had gone and failed this test again for the second time I will go ahead and try I will take the shame with me and redo it again and try again to pass this the key to all of this is just never quitting the only time that all is over is when you quit when you decide to quit you decide to not want to try anymore then that's the end of it but as long as you're willing to to try again to give it a little bit more time do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again eventually you will succeed I did pass my exit exam and uh, after the exit exam that's not the last I had to move on to my state board exam but this will be all for this video and if you want to see my experience with my state board exam comment below and let me know and I'll be happy to share that experience thanks for watching